Rwanda ranks as the first most competitive economy in East Africa according to the World Economic Forum Global Competitive Index. The growth rate is 8.2%. This marks her the third most competitive in Sub-Saharan Africa. On his official visit to Rwanda, we caught up with Mr. Roger Noor, the Deputy Director of IMF's African Department, to discuss on certain issues affecting Rwanda's economy and Sub-Saharan Africa as a whole. Take a look. Right. Um, so I, f I would like to first of all get into the investment questions. After several years of strong growth, Sub-Saharan Africa is feeling the effects of the slowdown in the emerging markets, falling commodity prices, and less supportive financing conditions. How much is a concern for the IMF? I think it's a concern for Sub-Saharan Africa. I mean, our anticipation is that um, growth in Sub-Saharan Africa in 2015 will fall below 4%. That's the lowest rate in the last uh, 15 years. And will rise only slightly above 4% next year. Um, so that is a, quite a significant weakening of growth. And this growth is concentrated mainly in exporters of natural resources, oil and, and, and minerals. Um, and of course, as a result of the slower growth, investment will also fall. So um, now, talking still about investment, there's still a significant improvement. There's still problems of volatile currencies, fluctuating interest rates, and weak capital controls. What could Sub-Saharan Africa do better to attract more investment and develop our capital markets? I think the, the most important priority uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa is to uh, build the strong fundamentals for competitive uh, economies. That also means diversification, because of course the dependence on uh, natural resources uh, has been a strength when prices were high, but it's a weakness when prices uh, are low. So you need to develop uh, those uh, competitive and diversified economies. Here in East Africa, I think there has been quite a lot of progress, but that is certainly what we would encourage for the future. Now, talking about Rwanda, Rwanda ranks as the first most competitive economy in East Africa, according to the World Economic Forum Global Competitive Index. The growth rate right now is at 8.2. This marks at the most, third most competitive. What do you think needs to be done to sustain this economic growth? I think Rwanda has made r remarkable progress. But uh, let, me, let me mention a few things where I think Rwanda could do uh, even, even better. One is domestic resource mobilization, raising taxes, raising revenue from domestic sources. Why is that important? Because it enlarges the amount of fiscal space. It gives Rwanda more resources to invest both in infrastructure and in the social sectors, and it reduces the dependence on volatile external markets. All right, then, uh, again, Rwanda is lacking behind on the foreign direct investment, attracting $100 million uh, last year. If you compare this to other countries like Uganda, there needs to be improvement. What could Rwanda do better? And I think Rwanda, has, as I said, has made significant progress. But in the end, for Rwanda, a critical element is to be part of a strong regional market. So making progress on regional integration, making sure Rwanda is part of a market of 150 million people in the EAC, that I think will be a very strong indicator and a very strong basis for growth in Rwanda. And now lastly, a question for most of the youth. The rate of the unskilled youth in sub-Saharan Africa has doubled. The figures continue to grow. For those who create jobs, it's an opportunity. Uh, that's what they say. And others say it's the biggest issue facing Africa. What's your take on that? I think the uh, growth in the African youth is an asset for Africa. It's going to be a huge asset going forward because Africa will have the youngest population in the world, the most uh, in the working age population. But it is, of course, also a challenge. Policies need to be right. Education policies need to prepare the youth for that competitive market. And I think if we succeed on the education, we will succeed also on the economy. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Roger. You're welcome.